we are back again with another part that is part 4 cell okay so cell number shape and size we are doing that topic only so let's see the lifespan of certain cells so a uh, skin cell a skin cell lives for average 19 days eyelashes for 3 to 4 months liver cells for 2 to 4 years and sperms for 2 months rbc's for 4 months and the bone cell for 15 or 25 years. Right? So this is all about the lifespan of certain cells. So cell structure and function. Right? So the cells are have one more division that is the division between the plant cells and animal cells. Uh, you know that plant cells and animal cells cannot be same. And they differ due to organelles. Organelles. Now organelles. Organelles are the specialized parts of cell that are responsible in the processes like getting rid of wastes, digestion, respiration, etc. Right? Uh, so organelles are responsible for digestion, respiration, excretion, any process that happens in cell etc right so now let's see parts of cells parts of cell the parts of cell includes the plasma membrane or cell membrane cytoplasm nucleus and vacuole these are the topics we will be discussing throughout the uh, next coming videos right so let's um, move further so cell membrane cell membrane is the outer covering of the cell it means that if this is a cell, the green line here is representing the cell membrane. Right? Uh, like uh, you can say that this is a cell and the green line is the cell membrane. Boundary of the cell or outer covering is the cell membrane. Now protoplasm. Protoplasm is basically protoplasma which means the first liquid. Liquid plasma liquid. Right? So first liquid. So this is all liquid present between it means that accepting nucleus um, the liquid in which all the organelles are suspended is the protoplasm. Right? So uh, it was the term protoplasm was coined by Pure Cage in 1839. So this is what uh, this red shaded part is the protoplasm and the green part or the boundary is known as the cell membrane. Right? So cell membrane. Cell membrane is the outer covering of the cell as we know. So cell membrane is a selectively permeable membrane. Okay, so what is selectively permeable membrane? It is a function of the cell membrane. Selectively permeable means something which can perme permit, permit. It is all about permission, right? So selectively permeable means it allows some things which are required by cell to pass through the membrane, right? So this is, say, this is the border name. And if anything wants to enter the cell, it has to first cross this, this membrane and it is selectively permeable. It means that if this, uh, this particle is required and if it is useful for cell, then it will allow it. Otherwise, it will not allow the particle to get inside the cell. So this is all about selectively permeable, right? So uh, there are many functions of cell membrane. Cell membrane protects the cell from foreign injuries, right? Cell membrane protects the cell from foreign injuries. It also controls the movement of cells. Control the movement of cell and it gives the shapes to the cell. So it controls movement of cell, protect the cell from foreign injuries, gives shape to cell and also is us. It is also known as selectively permeable membrane, right? So... If uh, something wants to pass through the cell, there are two methods of doing so. There are diffusion and osmosis. As you know, diffusion and osmosis are two different processes which do not require energy. And it is like moving something from high concentration to the low concentration. So diffusion take ca uh, place can take place in any medium. But osmosis only takes place in liquids. Right? So, um, osmosis requires semi-permeable membrane, but diffusion does not require semi-permeable membrane. 
it can occur in any medium and uh, it can also occur in gas liquid or solid it can occur in any uh, form of matter as well so diffusion so diffusion is like uh, uh let me give you an example like uh, your mother uh, cooks food in kitchen and the sweet and the delicious smell of food spell um, spreads all over the house it is because of diffusion so diffusion is something from area of high concentration to area of oh uh, sorry area um uh yeah area of high concentration to the area of low concentration it is all about diffusion right it can take place in any uh, medium and semi permeable membrane is not required but osmosis take place only in liquid and it requires semi permeable membrane so this is all for part 4 cell we will be coming back with another video on cell part 5 till then take care please like share and subscribe our channel bye bye meet you soon